Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So today in this video, we will going to discuss about the LWC component. Okay. So in LWC, you must be aware about we have two types of communication that is parent to child and another is child to parent. Okay. So in this video, we will going to discuss how to flow data or how to communicate from parent to child. Okay what type of decorators we need here, how we will going to call our child component, what variables we need here, how we will going to pass the values. So we'll discuss everything. So now let's move to our screen and see how we will going to communicate parent to child. Okay, first let me explain you over this whiteboard what we will going to achieve and what is our requirement. So let's suppose this is my parent container, okay, or the parent component, okay. And from this component, now I want to pass value to the child component and which will be called from this parent component itself. Okay, so this is the boundary of parent component and inside this, we are calling our child component. Okay, so this is, let's suppose this is the child component. Okay. So here this is parent and this is child. Okay. Now, now what we are going to do? We will going to pass some variable or value of property from parent to this child. Let, let's suppose there is a property one here. So there is one property. Okay. And this value now I want to be get here. Okay. So the decorator. So the decorator which will going to help us in passing the value from this parent template to the child template will be the API. Okay. So using the API decorator, we will pass the value from parent to child. And this child component will be called inside this parent template. HTML template. Okay, now let's move to our VS Code and here we are on VS Code. Okay, and my org is authorized here. Now let's create a new project and here we will going to create two components. One is the child and the another is the parent. Okay, so now first is we need to create a lightning component, create project. So let's name this parent component. Okay. Okay, and the next we need the child component also. So let's create that too. Okay, so our two components are created now. One is the parent component we have created and another is the child component we have created. So I have given the name so it will be easier for you to understand. Okay, so in which uh, which component is communicating to? So now, so now here we are on our parent component. Okay, so in this parent component, we need some variable or a property, so which will help us in communicating from parent to child. Okay, so okay, so now here we are on our JS. Okay, here we are not going to include or going to add any decorators here because we only need some variable which we will going to pass none decorator is needed here as per current requirement okay so now let's suppose my variable is value value from parent okay so in this let me put some value here in the box okay this value is passed from parent to child okay here it is now let's save this now our next part is here we are on the HTML template of parent component. Okay. Now as per the screen I have diagram I have drawn. So here this is the parent template. Okay. And in this, this child component is added or called. Okay. So same we will going to do here. So this is the template of parent component. And in this template, we will going to call our child component. Okay. So now let's add some paragraph here. This is parent component. Okay. And now next one. Okay. Our next part is to call the child component. Okay. So now how we used to call the child component. Okay. So first is the C which defines we are calling this child component now followed by hyphen. Okay. Now we need to add the child component name here. So our child component name is child then here capital c is there and the component okay so now whenever we used to call component so this to be converted all the capital alphabets will be converted to the hyphen followed by the lowercase okay like here i have added this child okay now 
hyphen instead of because we here is the capital C. Okay, so we need to replace this with the hyphen and the lower case of this C. And then we will call our now we will add this name. Okay, so this is how we will going to call our child component. Okay, now here in this we will going to pass the variable in which we will have assigned the value in the JS of this parent component. Okay, so our variable name is here value from parent. Okay, now this value we will pass but this value we need to assign to some property or a variable which is also available in this child component so now let's move to child component here it is so here we are in child component so this is the template and this is the js function so I have told you in this whiteboard that the connection which we will uh, which will help us in connecting or transferring the value of a variable will be done by using the API decorator. Okay, so now here we need a API decorator. So add it over here, and then here we will going to add a property API, and then some name. So the name will be like get value from parent. Okay. So this is this property will going to help us in getting the value or in connecting this parent and child component. So now this because of this API decorator, we can now use this name here. Okay. And use this property here. And now the, again, we need to follow this kebab casing here. All the capital one will be replaced by this hyphen and the lower case. Okay. So we need to remove this. Replace with hyphen and this uppercase, lowercase. Okay. And here we will going to pass the value which we have variable value which we have created in this JS of parent. Okay, now let's add this. So no binding and nothing is added here. We just simply need to pass the value in this braces. Okay, now let's save this. And let's move back to the template of child component. Let's add here also so we can identify that we are in the child component. Okay. Okay. Now here we will going to display the value of this property. Let's add it here. So here, as you can see in the child component, we did not assign any value or we did not add any value here. We are getting the value from the parent and displaying the same in the child template. Okay. And this is done with the help of decorator, which we have used or which we have created in the child component. And now we will going to deploy this to our org and then we will see there how it will going to look like. Okay. So here. First, we will going to deploy this child component as you will directly uh, to, uh, directly try to deploy this parent component and in this child component is used so it, you will get an error if child component is not found. So first we need to deploy this child and then we will going to deploy parent. Okay, so this is deployed now the parent. Okay, let's add this component over this account. So here, as you can see, this is the parent component and in this what text we are getting. So now also move you back to this template. So here we have added this paragraph and then we again, then next we have called this child component. So what it will do, what it will doing now, it will going uh, to show you the HTML template of the child component. So in the child component, we have this is child component and then the value came from parent, whatever the value we have set in the variable. Okay. So this is the child parent. So this is the parent component. This is the child component and this is the value it is showing where we have a which we have assigned to the variable. Okay. Now let's modify this a bit and what we will do on this template on the parent template, we will now add a button on click of this button. It will now going to communicate with this child component and then only will going to show us this template of child component. Okay. Now let's add a button and on click of this, we will going to call. 
for triggering point, we will go to add here and the parent component template is here. So now let's add a button here. Okay, so okay, so now in this now what we will going to do? We will going to add a button, and when we click on this button, it will going to call this child component. So directly we cannot uh, add this to the child or to the button. So indirectly we will going to perform this that is using the boolean. Okay, we will going to take a help of boolean here. So now let's first add the button. Okay, so now the name will be labeled as this all child. Okay, this child all child. Okay, next will be on click of this. As soon as the user will going to click on this, we will going to call a JS function. So we'll uh, add the on click here. So here we will go in a JS function. So here in this JS function, we will going to set a value of variable and using which we will going to hide and show our component. Okay, so let's name this handle. On click. Okay. Let's Add one value here. All child. So this is the boolean variable. Okay. As soon as user will going to click on this, we will going to set the value true. Okay. And now this value we will going to check in this HTML. And then only we will going to call this component. So here we are going to add condition if if true and then only we will going to execute this. Okay. Then only we will going to call this. Let's save this. So now what is happening here? As directly we cannot uh, perform, so we cannot add this child component to the lightning button. So what we have to do on click of this, we call one function, JS function, and in this function we put the value of boolean true. And whenever the value is true, it will going to show the child component template. Okay. So this is save. Now deploy this. Refresh this. Okay, so this is the component, and here as you can see, this child is parent component. Okay, so this is the parent component, and if I click on this, okay, we get error true. And one more thing we are missing here that is to add the this. This is most important because we are setting the value. So this is the most important thing. Let me save this because this is the variable in which we are changing the value. Deploy this. So this is the parent component. This is the button child component using which it will going to show the child template child. And on click of this, it has shown us the values from the child component or the template of child component. So this is how we can pass the values when we need. Uh, we can pass the values from parent to child or in the parent to child relationship. Okay. Hope you guys find the video useful. And if you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And we'll come up with more complex scenarios with both the relationships and the next video will be on how to communicate from child to parent okay so this will be going to more interesting so stay tuned till then take care goodbye